What's good? It's your boy Adrian Nice. We here, LA, California. Paper Tiger in the building. Right now, I'm here with. It's D. Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? Act, or if you see me acting, it's Jeremiah Dunbar. Yes, sir. So, I heard you was on TV, Little Dicky season two, correct? I'm sure you've done a lot more than that. But <laughs> So, let's tell the people about you. Um, First, I want to know what was it like working on that show? What um, talk about your role? What did you do? Um, first of all, working on that show is crazy, just because this man, Dave, Lil Dicky, his mind be working ten thousand miles an hour. So I was in a, uh, I was with him, and I was doing the makeup, and he was in his makeup chair. He's on two FaceTime calls and get his makeup done, talking about what's going on in the script. He was like, hey, we need the aardvark in this time. And on set, he's taking care of everything, in charge of everybody. The director's like, hey, Dave, can we do wow. acting? Yes. He's in charge of the whole show. And just to see that, this man's a fucking brilliant. If you've seen the second season, just to know that he did that shit, it's crazy. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Um, so I play, I play a character. Uh, I'm like in the club and I'm like talking to him and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I was just in that motherfucker. Uh, embarrassed him a little bit, but yeah, it was a good time. What's some other roles that you've done? Uh, shit. I've done over 400 commercials. Uh, damn. Ah, uh, damn. Um, I was in Grownish. I was in This Is Us. I was in Shameless. I'm not even supposed to say this. I don't know when it's about to drop. Exclusive. Exclusive, exclusive. I just got booked on the new show called, uh, it's All American, but it's a spinoff. Uh, yeah, so that's exciting as well. Damn. Yeah, so it's just, I got a couple movies out. Uh, so uh, when did you get into acting, and is that something you've always wanted to do? This going to sound hella weird, but uh, I was in a circuit for four years when I was a kid. The circus? Yeah. Um, so I kind of just like, you walk in the stage, you know what I'm saying, and thousands of people are cheering you on, doing what you're doing, and that shit, you don't feel that nowhere else. So as I got older, I was playing sports, you kind of feel it there. And then I was like, how do I make this a career? So I moved out here like five years ago and just started just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what were you doing in the circus, bro? I did juggling, unicycle, roller bowler, stilts, clowns, glow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's dope, though, because I'm sure you, you kept those skills, like juggling. And everybody can't juggle, like, yeah. unicycle, that's another. I got all this shit, too. So, like, it helps me book uh, commercials and shit as well. Yeah, what I do, man, acting pays the bills. I do stand-up comedy, and I make music as well. That's fire, bro. Do you have an agent? I do. I have a manager and an agent. Manager and an agent. Do you think you will be getting your roles or making the moves that you're making in the industry if you didn't have an agent or a manager? Not at all. And it's only because I don't have those connections. Um, I book a lot of roles that I get, like smaller shit, but like as it's like primetime television, you need someone who's gonna back you up and put you out there. Exactly. You can't really get there without an agent or a manager. What's your ultimate goal? Where do you want to take your career? Honestly, and it's gonna sound corny than a motherfucker, but I just want to help as much as I possibly can, but I'm not in a position to where I, I can do that. My family's still struggling, you know what I'm saying? They're still down and out, and I'm over here acting like I'm living my life, but I'm still not in a position to even help them, you know what I'm saying? What about my mama house, God? You know, I want to buy my motherfucking mama house, you know what I'm saying? We in here. I want to do that, and then do it at a larger scale, figure out how I can actually help the world. And that sounds corny as fuck, but it's the truth, you know what I'm saying? That's I real. I want somewhere my kids can, like, grow up and just play and be cool, you know what I'm saying, without having to worry about us dying. That's real, bro, that's real. It's not corny, bro, that's real. If anybody that's trying to get on, that's like a thing. Like, I want to buy my mama a house. I want to take care of my people. I want to take care of people and shit like that. So I, that's respect. Um, so what separates you from all the other actors out there trying to make it in the film industry, commercial industry, all of it? I would just say my experience in life. Um, I'm young right now. I'm only 23. Woo! But I've lived in every four corners of the United States. Um, Florida, Vermont, 
Washington, here, and every single one of those, I learned a whole bunch of different shit. You know what I'm saying? And as far as my skill set, I can do, I don't want to be sound cocky, but I can do almost every, I can shoot guns, four wheel, like, I'll bungee jump, like, I did all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think there's, there's not much that I can't do. Um, so I feel like that sets me apart. Also, I just, I just do it for fun. A lot of people, I feel like, don't just do it for fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're on this earth for one reason, and that's to be happy and figure out how to make yourself happy. You know what I'm saying? And make other people's happy, other people happy while you're doing it. So that's just the way I be living. All right, man. Then we're gonna have to get you in for a longer interview. I, I feel like you got more. Now I want to know more about your your journey, bro. Um, go ahead and drop your social media so they can find you and follow your journey. 100%. You can catch me on all platforms for music. It's the Kyrie. It's the, like the, K-Y-R-E-E. -E. And then you catch me on Instagram. It's going to be Jeremiah Kyrie, spelled different. So it's going to be J-E-R-I-M-I-Y-A-H-K-Y-R-E-E. -E. All right. There you guys have it. I'm your host, Adrian Nice. Mouthing out. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we are out. Peace. Oh.